Yeah. And what do your mom and dad think of it? Because they <laughs> are, uh, I think they are, do they, they are They're neuro, ne yeah. neuroscientists? Yeah, they are. Yeah. They, you know, initially I think they thought, uh, you know, this is, this is something, you know, you know, he'll, he'll go through this. It's just a phase, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, but I think they started to realize that it wasn't, and, uh, and... When, I, when? Um, I think that was when I was, when I was definitely, when I was in, when I was a senior in high school or, or, or a freshman in college, and it seemed like, um, that was all I spent my time doing, you know? I, I definitely was having trouble, uh... I, I love learning and I love school, you know, I, I really do. But I was just having trouble caring about any of it, you know, because I had this thing that I loved to do and I kind of knew that that's what I wanted to do. It just took me a while to to kind of realize that I, you know, that if I wanted to do it, it was it was the time to do it and and uh, not not the time to to worry about anything else because, and, and I still feel that way, you know. Um, yeah, I feel uh, so, and I think my parents realize that. You know, I think that science and science and and other science is an art. I think you know, and 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 scientists understand artists really well because I mean it's the same love. A good scientist is like a good artist. They're working hard at something that they don't know the answer to, and eventually they don't know what they're going to get, at where they're going to get when they do it, but they know they're going to get somewhere interesting if they're working hard. And, and that wherever they go, they'll always have more questions than answers. And I think, so my parents are both great scientists, and, and they, they understood what I was doing, you know, and they understood kind of my love for what I was doing. You know? But what is in for you the biggest difference for, um, between scientists and artists, musicians? Because you were saying now, well, you, yeah. you were saying what they do have in common, but what are the differences then for you? Um, hmm. Well, there's like there's just the b basic like mechanical differences of sometimes what you think about are, are ha have to be different. You know, I feel like uh, one of the tendencies, one of the bad tendencies, I think necessary sometimes, but also bad tendencies in in science is to uh, narrow your narrow your field of vision down smaller and smaller. I become a specialist in smaller and smaller things. I think with art, the uh, the tendency is to go expansive and to try and make something expansive and to like widen your field of view. You know, both I think can be can both I think can be uh, uh, you, you can do too much. You can go in in, in in the wrong direction too far. You know, I think that that. Uh, you know, when I think of the scientists that have changed, uh, have changed the world, you know, the ones that have come up with some of the most incredible... Kind of Newton, Einstein. Einstein, Watson, and Crick, yeah. uh, Murray Curie. Curie these, yeah. these people are like people that had interests beyond uh, the field, the tiny field that they were working in. But isn't, isn't, isn't the biggest difference also that artists seek from the inside? Hmm. And scientists seek on the outside? Well, I don't know. I think, you know, I think science is a social construction. I mean, scientists choose to study things based on on what the society is going through and what they're going through at the time. Okay. I think that that a lot of times scientists, you know, uh, you know, tend and artists too. You can work yourself into a belief that you're the only one that's doing something and that your work is is out there in your in your on your own, but really, like like science and, and art have so much in common in that w the society needs a certain thing at a certain time, and and that's what that's what an artist brings or a scientist brings is this idea uh, at at the time when when it becomes necessary. I think of Newton or at a time when 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 there was serious questions about. Uh, Science and religion, and, and 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 Newton was one of the few people at the time who was willing to ask the question of, like, where does God end? Where does God end and science begin? You know, and that's like a really powerful question that needed to be asked at the time.